Hey, and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to do a review of another Mini Dash product. This is the ice cream maker. Now, I have had this literally over a year, probably a year and a half. I got it at the end of 2019. And I got it for me and my grandson Sebastian to do together and to make a review video together. We didn't do it at the first of the year. I thought we'll wait till the weather gets warmer. Then guess what happens? What, what happened in 2020? We all know. So that just sent everything out the window. I have had this ever since. I have not used it one single time. And I thought, well, you know what? The insert, this part right here, this is a thing that you freeze. And this stays in the freezer ready to go. It's been in my freezer for over a year. Scouts on or however you do that. I... I, I cannot tell a lie. It has been in my freezer door for over a year. And I thought, well, today we're going to go ahead and review this. Now, here's the one I'm doing first. Because I don't know how long in between when you make ice cream, you have to refreeze the insert before you can make another one. So the one I want to do is uh, Weight Watcher Friendly. I do iTrack Bites Better Balance, which is the same as the WW Blue Plan. So I want to use almond milk and sweetener um, substitute not real sugar and not real cream here's the thing the recipe it gives you in the book is for two cups of heavy cream which i'm not going there <laughs> but in the the finer print in, in on another page it says only one cup in the ice cream maker so why it gave a two cup recipe i don't know because i don't know how long it'll last uh, like I said, I don't know how long you have to refreeze the thing before you can do it again to make another batch. But what I have in the freezer now is one cup of almond milk. It needs to freeze for, it says, 35 to 40 minutes for best results. Or you can go longer if the ice cream doesn't freeze to your consistency. Now, here's the thing. This is an experiment. I've never... We make homemade ice cream, you know, all the time in the summertime. Grew up with homemade ice cream. Never, ever have I made it with almond milk. So I don't even know if almond milk will freeze it or if it'll be slushy. I don't know. But that's the first one I want to try. It's something that is point friendly. And then we'll see how that goes. And the next thing I would probably try would be skim milk because that's what we drink. Um, it would probably be easy from the... Um, to see the texture of it with these products, to see how a whole milk or a half and half or a heavy cream would probably change the consistency. I don't want to, because I am on this weight loss journey, I don't want to make something that um, high calorie and that high point and then be forced to eat it because I don't want to just pour it down the drain. So <laughs> we're going to do the diet friendly version. So that's all for... Um, now when I come back, it will have been 35 minutes and then we'll see how the ice cream maker works. Okay. So let me show you what comes with it right quick. <laughs> I'm going to show you what happened to our mixture after 35 minutes. This is the little bottom cup. This is the freezer insert. You can see the inside is like a metal. I don't want to stick my finger on it. So you just put that down in there. It comes with a little spoon. This is the motor, and this is the paddle. Now, this is the almond milk. It was one cup of almond milk, a teaspoon of vanilla, and two healthy squirts of this liquid stevia. That's what I put in here. And you can see, after 35 minutes, it got icy. So, I don't think it says you can do it longer, but I don't think I would because then I'm going to lose part of my almond milk being stuck to the side so this is giving me a sneaking suspicion it's going to be more icy than cream well it, almond milk is not creamy to begin with now we just pour this in here and you can see why it says no more than a cup because it fills it now we put our little 
paddle on there, stick it down in. It doesn't even, there we go. Now, before, I don't know how loud this is because I haven't turned it on. And it did not say how long to um, do the paddle. So I don't know if it's like a um, regular size freezer that when you can hear it slowing down, that means to stop. So we'll see together. I'm going to look at the time right now. Let's see how loud it is. I'm just going to let it go <laughs> and check it periodically, I guess. Okay, I just want to stop it and just check. It's been three minutes. I'm just curious. Okay, it's getting icy. Can you see that? It's getting, it's starting to get icy. So, can you hear it? All right, let's put it down in there. Start it back. Okay, it's starting to make a little bumpy noise in there, and it's been seven minutes. So I thought we might better go ahead and check it. Okay, can you see? It's getting icy. It is definitely not going to make ice cream with almond milk. But we're going to let it keep going and see how um, thick it, it will get. Now we're going to check it at the 15 minute. That's getting mm, not really warm the 15 minute mark it is still see it's getting I tell you what I'm going to call it because let me get a little bowl this I was going to go an extra um, five, I was going to go 20 minutes all the way, but as you can see, it's not turning into ice cream, and you see how it's all sticking to the sides, so we're losing a lot of our almond milk. I better hold on to that, because it is sticking to the inside. Can you see that? Not really having to scrape it off pretty good. So this you can get just like I do in my morning shake. If I go walk, almond milk is part of it. You get the same exact consistency by throwing some almond milk in a blender with a few ice cubes. So that's going to be a thumbs down. For the almond milk ice cream. Now I have to wash this. Let it dry. It said do not put it in the freezer wet. So I'm going to have to wash it. Dry it real good. Refreeze it for 24 hours. I did find that finally in the book. Refreeze it for 24 hours. And then we're going to try either skim milk. Or a combination of skim milk and half and half. Because I have half and half for my coffee. So I'm going to do some points calculations. And see. But that's what we'll try next. But for the almond milk, no. I'm just going to put this in a um, glass and drink it with a straw. <laughs> I did want to come back on right quick and tell you, listen, if you can hear this. That's how you can tell it's not frozen. When it's frozen, it is solid as a rock. So I just want to show you that before I put it back in the freezer. Now for this batch, I have... Three quarters cups of skim milk and one quarter cup of half and half. It's not fat free half and half. It's regular half and half. About a teaspoon of vanilla and a couple spoons of monk fruit that I stirred until it was dissolved. And this has been in the freezer for 35 minutes. Now I didn't use the um, liquid sweetener because when I took that we're going to put the thing back on. When I put the um, 
almond milk. I was going to drink the almond milk slushy. I just did not like that flavor, so I'm sticking with the monk fruit. Now I'm going to let this go. We'll probably check it in. I say we'll check it in 10 minutes. Okay, it has been 10 minutes. Let's see. Oh my goodness. We are making ice cream. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I think I'm going to let it go a little bit more. Because I think there's just a little bit of liquid down in the bottom. So I'm going to check it again in five minutes. Okay, I'm going to wait um, five more minutes. I've got one left. But can you see how it's starting to pop up and down? So I think that means that the ice cream in it is starting to rise to the top. Getting a little um, thicker. It sure enough is, I think, since it's doing that little dance, <laughs> I think I'm just going to take this out. There's a little bit of liquid at the bottom, but you know what, I, I think this is, since this is mostly skim milk, it's not going to be creamy like cream. I'm thinking the more ratio you have of cream or half and half to your mixture, I'm thinking it's going to actually be a creamy ice cream. Look. I think that looks pretty doggone good for a little. <laughs> Let me give it a little taste here. You know what? It's like a, um, well, I was going to say it's like a homemade ice cream with skim milk. We make ours with skim milk. Because skim milk is what we drink. And so it's very, um, it's not creamy, creamy because it's not full cream, but it's nice and kind of like snow cream. If any of you have ever had snow cream, it's kind of like snow cream. So I like it. I like it a lot. I give this one a thumbs up. Now, you can try it with all skim milk if you want to. Or with that little, it'll shave probably, if you're doing a diet of any sort that counts points or calories, it's going to shave some off. I don't know right off the bat what a cup of skim milk is. Maybe four points. This here, the whole bowl is six points and half of it is three points. You can also, if you are not on a weight loss journey, use all half and half or use all heavy cream whichever one you want to use sweeten it to taste if you use real sugar or if you use sugar substitute just be sure and stir it until it's dissolved put your vanilla in there pop it in the freezer for 35 minutes and then you see all you do is put it in there and let it go so I think 15 minutes is probably um, all I want to try this for so that's my review there's also and I'm not going to do it because I don't have any fresh fruit on hand. And I'm not really sure that I have any in the freezer. But there's also a recipe for sorbet. And all you do is blend your fruit in the food processor or the blender. Sweeten it as you want. Put it in here and freeze it the exact same way. Now, if your fruit is frozen... I would say you don't need to freeze it <laughs> the 35 minutes. If you're using fresh fruit, I would probably do that 35 minutes um, freezing to make sure it's really good and cold. And I'm going to guess that it's going to be the same consistency pretty much as this, like a sorbet. And you could obviously let this go. It's melting as we're sitting here. You can let this go a little bit longer, see if you can get it thicker, but... I was fine stopping it where it was so I would give this right here a thumbs up on the milk was definitely a thumbs down but if you're on a weight loss journey this is a good way to get some ice cream for very low points I know halo top might be the same points but a lot of people don't like halo top so this is a, a really nice alternative and you see other than the 35 minute freezing time it's pretty doggone quick, so I would um, 
I would recommend this little thing. I'm glad I bought it. And the next time my grandson's here, me and him will be making ice cream. So I hope this little review helped you um, see how this worked. Maybe help you decide if you want to buy it or if you didn't want to buy it. So that is all. And I will see you on my next video.